Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here today. I'm, of course, Gregor Guy. My name is Casey. And for your investing educational purposes, we will be presenting this week's episode of Bang Head Financial. So, what's going on this week? Um, obviously, the FOMC had their, you know, meeting press conference on the 27th of July. Uh... 75 basis points, once again, as I pretty much kind of predicted or at least was suggesting. So thanks for listening, Jerome Powell. He's, he's an avid watcher, I'm sure, Jerome Powell. He loves the bank cast. Yeah, well, no, he loves Banghead Financial. He loves Banghead Financial. Okay, yeah. I got you. Fair enough. I think half our views are the CIA anyways. <laughs> That's actually just think possible. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, the other other bit of news that uh, came out this week. Um, First of all, I just want to say a view is a view. <laughs> CIA can watch this all day long if they want to. All day, watch it on loop. I watch mean, it on repeat. I would okay. appreciate a CIA like and subscribe. And if you comment in the in the comment section, we will click on that comment and we will subscribe to the CIA. Does the CIA even have, like, a... They, no, they, there's no way they have any, like, social media presence. What are you talking oh, about? Oh. Every single news organization is a CIA. I, I mean, no. I, <laughs> no, like, like an actual institution CIA, you know, account. It's got, it's I don't know. We're going to have to look it's into It's called CIA later. YouTube. You've never seen it before? No. That's where they tell you all the secrets. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that that is untrue. <laughs> is unfounded. <laughs> anyway. But the uh, other bit of news that came out here this particular week was um, apparently, now I didn't think that this was going to actually come out until next week, but apparently they have released the GDP numbers. And for the second quarter in a row, we are at a negative growth at uh, negative point to two percent. Yes, I believe that they are trying to change the definition of a recession. And uh, uh, what exactly do you know about that? I I know very little. I know that. Um, do you know what they're trying to change the language to now? And now, obviously, the definition of a recession is basically two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth. Correct? Right. That's what, you know, that is what is taught in economics class. So I think I'm, I'm falling prey to the same things that I complain about, about people not looking into things after, um, after they're hearing things on multiple occasions where they just take it as uh, truth when they hear something about it. Um, although the sources that I hear, I'm um, hearing that them changing the uh, definition are generally um, generally things that when I do follow through, it's uh, apparent and it's uh, true. Um, so I don't know what they changed the definition to. It does not, first of all, it goes along with uh, this administration's um, MO of trying to change language in order to make themselves correct. That's um, fair enough. Um <laughs> which we might uh, get into a little bit later in the bagcast. Right. Okay. But what I what I say is okay. You can change the definition all you want. Right. It doesn't matter. You you can change it to where you know there's like you know I, I you know negative one hundred percent growth. Then we're in a recession. Guess what? It doesn't change the fact that if it looks like a recession, if it smells like a recession, then guess what? It's probably a recession. Well, the thing, the thing that gets me is, <clears throat> so they are, if they change the de definition of recession, right? I want to know, and, and I did try to look this up because I was going to do a banghead history on it at some point where um, the, the different times that the definitions were changed to fit narratives. Mm -hmm. oh. um, Ooh. Ooh, that'd be a good one. That was an extremely difficult one, and it was uh, very muddy 
and um, I I was having very hard, I was having a hard time with it. Um, so at this point, I have kind of given up on it. Um, if if anybody wants to point me to videos or, or other down the information, below. yeah, let me know. Um, but I was having a, it was it was just not an easy thing to do. It was not an easy thing to work. That on. is a shame because I would actually be so stoked to hear that. I'm I'm sure there are probably like a lot of you know examples. And, and I think so. Considering this administration do, is doing it, and um, they they don't they don't seem to be com, uh, very competent people to start with. Um, they that they they're just copying what somebody else has done. Copy, and and, and, and this is um, throughout throughout time, um, throughout throughout the history of the United States, and maybe even throughout the history of the world, that people have been yeah. doing acts like these. Um, so that they, they're nothing special. Yeah, yeah, I, I could see throughout the history of the world. Right. You, you know, I, I mean, no, let's not even like throw that just on the United States. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, someone, you know, at some point in time was probably like, oh. This is what you people think? Well, let's just change what that means. Right, right. Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, other than that, as far as news-wise, everything, not a whole lot going on this week. Right. Um, obviously, the crypto market is particularly experiencing a little little rally. It's been going on for, oh, it seems like over a week now. Okay. I mean, it's, it's nothing, nothing really major. We'll say, but you know, things are starting to look up. Now, the question is going to be is what happens in September when the FOMC has their next meeting? And it'll be at the end of September, I believe. I think like the 24th is the date. Don't quote me on that. So, are they going to do. I think I, I think in September, depending on what the outlook is. Now, obviously, gas prices and everything, you know, in our particular area, they're back around, you know, four dollars a gallon versus where they were at like five. Yeah. So that's going to help all the numbers coming in. So I kind of expect a twenty-five to fifty basis point hike in September. At that point in time. Now, granted, that prediction could very well change. Moving closer to the actual date. The administration is going to do everything that in their power by the time the uh, election ro rolls around. I think it's around November or so um, to make the numbers look good. Uh, you mean the midterms? Right. Okay. Right. I mean, I mean, that's... That's so, fair. So but, that's gonna um, be that's gonna be a little I'm, cushion, to, to, a little bit of breathing room to give us. But don't be fooled. Right. Don't get fooled again. I believe that was a Who song. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Because <laughs> let's be honest, you were fooled two years ago. Right. Um. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Tangent. Anyway. Um. Realistically, that's about all that's going on. So we'll just go ahead and end financial right there. Uh. You know. Like I said, sure week. It'll be interesting to see what goes on toward, you know, the latter part of September. I think it's almost like a summer break. Right. But we will still keep you up to date on any financial news that comes out in that meantime. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, of course, Gregor Guy. My name is Casey. And uh, everyone out there watching, keep your heads up.